this song dedicated to the girl I love. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Well, well. There is a girl living in my neighborhood. Yes. Yes, there is a girl in the neighborhood. Yeah, so we're here in Manchester with Crucial O'Neill, artist, doing his thing, right out of the Northwest. So Crucial, how long have you been in the music business? How long have you been singing? Tell me where you're coming from, talk to the people. Okay, well, I've been singing for a very long time. I couldn't really tell you how long, all I know, I've been singing when I was a child, a very small child. Must have been about four or something. And music's been a part of my family. Coming from my grandfather, right now, to my dad, to my elder brother. Children, you know, yeah, so music that's what it's all about. So, like, it's coming from the soul, music from the soul, yeah, from the soul, bro. From the soul, man. cool, cool, cool. I'm feeling that, man. So, tell me, tell me the reason why you sing. Like, where does your inspiration come from? Why, 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 why music? Okay, well, the inspiration comes from God, you know, it comes from God to me because you know, it all started in the church, you know, my mom. We grew, up, we grew up in the church of Caribbean people who go to church growing up and it starts there and it felt the music straight away especially for my elder brother George he's passed away now rest in peace George you know, it came from him still peace and soul cool so you're coming from a pretty deep place like music's been a part of your family a very part of your culture deep. very deep it's your life my life very deep bro. cool very man deep. very deep you couldn't live without it basically you can't live without music you know music is life that's real, that's real man. They say when the music hits you feel no pain, so you get me. That's real. Yeah. So like to date, how many songs, how many albums would you say you've recorded to date? Well, well to date, you know, I've recorded four albums, finished four albums, and lots of them not finished and stuff like that. Little scraps. I've got a lot of scrap albums that are nearly finished. But I've got four that are finished. The first album was um called The Invasion. I recorded at 1982 East studio in London, you know? Yeah, cool. So you, you're, you're pretty well connected in the music business that you, yeah, I hear you've supported quite a few acts. Yeah, I've supported a lot of acts. I've supported like Burning Spear, I've supported um, Gabrielle and Mark Morrison, you know, I've supported a few people, you know? Some industry names. Yeah, some industry names. Household some, names. Yeah, but, but on my time, no one still be shy, no? That's right, that's Respect. right. Respect. So like, that's a good thing, that's a good thing you just said, like, yeah. you're saying it's your time and I fully agree, like, I'm listening to some of your tracks and, yeah. man, it's really encouraging and okay. inspirational, so, yeah. you know, for the next generation coming through. Respect, but bro. one thing I want to know is, yeah. like, where do you want the music to take you? What would you like music to do for you as an individual, as an artist? Okay. Well, obviously, I've got children to feed, so obviously I'd like to do well out of it financially, but most and foremost, the world, well, the little kid have been saying, I want the world to hear my songs. You know, I'll sing for the world, even for free. You know, the world's hearing what I'm singing, because I believe I've got a message to give. You know, a good message, which is righteousness. You know what I mean? Yeah, so basically that's, that's No doubt. So you yeah. want to touch the masses? I want to touch the masses, man. It's deep, you know, right from the young to the old. Like, one thing, my music, like, young people can listen to my music, old people can listen to my music. You know, anybody can listen to my music. White, black, Chinese, anybody. My music is universal. My type of music. Very similar to Bob Marley's style of music, you know, universal, you know, that's my type of music. Yeah. Cool, that's yeah. nice, and it's yeah. funny you should say that. Yeah. I mean, obviously, to say your music's like Bob Marley, yeah. we know Bob Marley really did reach the masses, yeah, like four did. corners of the globe. Yeah, did, yeah. One thing I'd like to know is like, are you here to stay, or do you see yourself just yeah. putting a track out here and there? Like, are you here to stay? Are you in this for the long haul? Yeah, I'm here to stay for the long run. I'm here to stay, 100%. Right? I've been recording, doing music for the last 30 years, non-stop. 30 years? Yeah, non-stop. Wow. Right? And I came from the Sword of the Mouth band. We started, re we started recording in school when we were 11, in the lecture theatre. We started recording music, we got music teaching us going there. You know, me and three of my friends, we've done an album, 1982, The Invasion. It was the first album. The second album was called The Love Road album. That was a track song. It was all about love, you know. Found up with a lady, not, not just a lady, you could love anything, just a 
about a lot, you know. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You know, I've done two more albums for that which I'll tell you another time. Crucial. Yeah, bro. We're here, we're doing it large in Manchester. One thing I want to know, are you a one-hit wonder or are you here to stay? Like, do you see yourself going far? Are you planning to put out hits, singles, albums? What, what, what is it, man? What can we expect from you? You said it, you said it, man. I'm planning to stay here, I'm planning to put this out, and I'm planning to make it in the music business. That's the plan. My plans have been the same for the last 30 years. My plans ain't changing. It's the same. Yeah, man, I like that. You've got to stick to your roots. You've got to yeah. be real to yourself. Yeah. One thing I think the industry is looking for is, yeah. you know, people, or should I say the industry yeah. needs, is people who can keep it real, can That's just it. be true to who they really are. That's it. Uh, what I'd like to ask as well is, uh, where can people hear your music? What are okay. you doing? Do you have any up and coming releases? Okay, okay. okay. Well, obviously, if you go on um, YouTube, you can YouTube Crucial O'Neill. And you can see my video, my girl and my neighbor video. You can you can um, go on iTunes and download my track Wider and Stronger. You know, or you can join me on Facebook, Crucial O'Neill. You know. So you heard it here first, people. Yeah. Facebook, YouTube. What what what? Facebook, YouTube, Facebook, YouTube, iTunes, iTunes. You know, the it's, it's going off. It's going off. It's going off. It's going off. Facebook me, Crucial O'Neill. Message me, Crucial O'Neill. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you for a little bit of a song now. Okay. And then okay. let people hear what you're saying, okay. what you sound like, etc. No problem. No problem. Anybody else see my old friend, my head? Can you tell me where it's gone? Seems a good idea. I just looked around and he was gone. And then he bought Yeah, man, that's big, man. That's nice, very soulful. Before we shut down this interview and this media production, yeah, you know. just any shout outs, any fans, any hail ups. Yeah, and we're good. Yeah, big up. Anybody. Neighborhood 